Okay, so we're here at Indian Beach, and it's just north of Cannon Beach. This is the trail down to the beach from the parking area. Here are some nice cool steps. Little landing here, and then it gets a little dirtier down here. But I'm hoping the stick hunting is well worth the walk. All right, we're at the bottom of the trail here. And look at this. There's the ocean, but more importantly, look at this pile of wood. Don't see anything that looks good for sticks yet. Okay, we just had to cross this log to get across this little creek. Right over there in the middle of the screen is where we came from. And no sticks for us yet. Um, most of the people will get a walking stick and just use it for a little bit and then leave it up in the parking lot I have found them like that before but we're gonna keep walking looks like we got about a quarter of a mile that we can walk here and hopefully down at the end we'll find some okay right away I found a couple of sticks that one there just a little too crooked and it's too big so just gonna stay here and then right beside it exactly the same thing a little too crooked and a little too big and this is a reason why the walking stick material is kind of hard to find because they're about the right size to build yourself a little fire on the beach wait a minute might have found one Oh yeah, look at that one. That's a pretty nice stick. Let me see what it feels like. Alright, it was the right length. Felt pretty good. However, the top of it's all all jacked up there. And then down right there. is also all messed up. We'll keep looking. So I got one here that's a possibility. It kind of looks like a banana, but I think I can cut most of that out. On my way back, if I haven't found any better ones, I will definitely stop here because we've got another stick behind it here that has pretty funky root ball that might work as some kind of decoration definitely big enough and long enough and then right over here we've got an even bigger one that I know I can get one or two out of I'm kind of looking more for the light colored stick like that one they just finish up a lot better in my opinion all right I found one it's just about perfect We're going to take this one with us right now, and then we'll uh, let it dry and work it up later. Alright, this is the walking stick that we just found. So, I'm definitely going to take this one. I've been using it already. If you look behind me though, we got a lot more to look at. And unfortunately, my time is running out, so... I'm going to have to run a little faster. So when you're out looking for walking sticks, don't forget about your surroundings. Enjoy your time out. Take in the sights. Here's a nice little waterfall. And again, there's the ocean. Just enjoy your outing. I always do. So this stick here, wow, that would have been absolutely amazing. It's just about the right length, but it's about four inches thick. And a Sasquatch would probably be about the only person that could use that. 
Not saying he wouldn't get one from me, I'm just saying. Okay, this one looks like alder. And it's got all the root cluster like right there. And it goes up that way. I think we can get a good stick out of it. It's on the smaller side. It's like an inch to inch and a half. But it's at least six feet, which is what I want. So I'm going to cut this thing and see if we can do anything with it. All right, I found another one here. Kind of the color I'm looking for. Uh, it's not not gonna work because it's got this uh, V in it here and it really reduces the size this here's about inch and a half inch and three quarters and that is barely an inch so we're gonna leave it and we're gonna continue looking All right, I found this one here. It's got kind of a cool top to it. And it's about 10 feet long, but I'm only going to take about 6 feet of it. I'm going to probably cut it right there. I'm going to stand it up first and see where we're at. Yeah, that's a little over my head right there, but I think ultimately once I get that cut, the bottom all cut up and looking better, that's going to do it. And that's going to do it for this trip. Looks like it's been picked over pretty good. There wasn't a lot of stuff that I could use or that I wanted to use. So I'm happy with just getting three. It was a fun outing. And I'm going to head back to the truck. i got other things to do. So I hope everybody has a great day. Take care. Okay, I decided to do this on camera here. I'm going to cut it right here. You can't hardly see me. i got to come back with it. So. Not right-handed. I'm left-handed. <laughs> As you can tell. Well, we're going to do this a little different. I'm going to start by taking this stuff off here. Probably. Ah, you can kind of see it. struggle sometimes trying to get that camera shot and I can't do it. Alright, we're in the camera now. so much better when you do it with your best hand. All right. All right. Right there is my three sticks. The two that cross each other and the one just to the right of it. They're all around six feet or a little bit longer. 
I recommend always getting longer sticks. You can cut down to the proper size once you get it dried and get everything cleaned up and you can see what's the best for you. These aren't the best sticks I've ever found, but I'll make them look cool. We'll uh, show you that in an upcoming video. One more look at what I got to look at in between finding sticks. So, I hope everybody's having a good day. And their view is somewhat as good as mine. That's a little lighthouse on the rock. So, everyone take care and we'll continue these sticks at a later date.